In this lesson, I'll show you how to determine whether a point lies within a circle. The question reads, determine an equation and the radius for the circle that has its center at the origin and passes through the point A, which has the coordinate 6 and negative 8. Remember that all circles that are centered at the origin have the formula x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, where r represents the radius. So we have to determine an equation and the radius for the circle that passes through the point 6 and minus 8. What I do is I'll take this x coordinate and substitute it into this x and take the y coordinate and substitute it here, where I have 6 to the power of 2 plus negative 8 to the power of 2 is equal to r squared. 6 to the power of 2 is 36 plus 64 is equal to r squared and Adding these up gives us 100. Square rooting both sides, we end up with the square root of 100 is equal to r, and r is equal to 10. So our equation would be x to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2 is equal to 10, and that will ensure that it will pass through 6 and minus 8. Now they're asking, is the point A, which has the coordinates minus 5 and 9, inside the circle? Let's find out. If we substitute minus 5 and 9 into this equation, and we end up with a radius that is less than 10, then it lies inside the circle. Let's go ahead and do that. We have minus 5 to the power of 2 plus 9 to the power of 2. That's equal to r squared. 25 plus 81 is equal to r squared. 25 plus 81 is greater than 100, it's 106. If I square root both sides, I'll end up with an r that's actually greater than 10. You can find out what it is exactly by using your calculator. But because it's greater than 10, that means that this point, negative 5 and 9, does not lie inside the circle, but outside. And there you have it. That is how to determine whether a point lies within a circle.